Well, hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to force feed a snake. Hi! 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 Welcome to our channel. Hello. Hello. If you enjoy learning about reptiles and having a good laugh, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Hit. Smash it. Smash, Smash it. Nice. Smash it right now. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Hit. Yes. Smash it. Smash. Okay. Smash. This is something that is risky. If you don't do it properly, you could uh, kill the snake. So do it properly. I'm not telling you to go do this. I'm not showing you so that you do it. I'm just showing you like always what I do and what works for me and what works for me might not be good for everyone else. So, and it's by no means the correct way of doing anything because who knows what the correct way of doing everything is, right? The correct way would be to, to go to a vet. But every time a snake doesn't eat, I can't go to a vet. I just do my best to try and get it to eat. And in the end, if it doesn't make it, you know, in nature, they don't all make it. And I would much rather have, let's say, this is a $3,000 snake. I would much rather lose a $3,000 snake than sell a $3,000 snake to somebody and then have it die on them. So. Yeah, that's probably terrible. Whatever. I am using a Q-tip. I like to use a Q-tip to do this because if you use something that's too pointy or sharp or anything, you could end up stabbing your animal. Uh, I haven't done this in like a year, so this is going to be fun. I meant that not actually fun. Oh, I literally, oh, there they are. Wonderful. Right in front of me. So, I'm going to take, I like to do it with a, a wet rat, because if I do it with a not wet one, a, rat, a wet one will slide easier. So, I'm going to grab the snake by the, um, right behind its jaw. I don't want to have anything to really hold on to. And we're going to stick this in its mouth. And it's being stubborn. I'm telling you, this, this guy is like shutting his mouth. There, I got it. <coughs> I got it to open its mouth with the Q-tip. I'm sticking the rat into its mouth and losing the Q-tip. Very good. So I got the rat kind of in there. Taking the Q-tip. Oh, well, that didn't really work. See? Strong little guy. Lots of fight, but not eating. Okay, so here we go. Sometimes also you can do this and then you kind of half stick it in their mouth and they'll eat it. You can try that. Pushing the rat. I don't want to love again. Cause I'll be living with regret. I don't want to love again. 
down his throat or her throat and try to see if it'll eat it but it doesn't want to eat it so we're gonna have to do things the hard way I'm gonna dip it in water again so it's nice and wet and we're going to slide it down his throat this can be really I don't know a little bit nerve-wracking So first we gotta get the head down his throat. I go at the side and I push. So I got the head in pretty good. I'm going from side. Okay, I'm gonna show you. So I'm taking the Q-tip and I'm taking the rat and instead of just stabbing it I'm pushing it in down the side of his mouth or her mouth See, now I'm kind of stabbing it in. I want to go like this and push it down like that. See, I've, punctu I've punctured the rat now. Wonderful. Now I'm going to see if it was going to now let it go down on its own or if I'm going to have to push it down. So now basically while well, we're checking what's going to happen, I'm pretty sure he's just going to swallow it. So I'm going to go and get a new Q-tip and wash my hands, do the other snake. So you want to make sure I, I picked out the smallest baby pinky rats I could um, find. If I had anything smaller I would try doing it with that, but pinky rats are the smallest I got. Now, the reason that I have to hold it sometimes like this and ha let it kind of hang is because I need, I need it to not be curled here. If they curl their neck and fight it, then it won't go down. So, One of the big things is when you're pushing it down, you want each time you push it that the rat is actually going down. Otherwise you're just kind of like pushing and it's not going down. And that was the mistake that I did for a long time. I'd be kind of pushing it and nothing would be happening. So I'm just wasting my time and irritating both of us.
These are some stubborn snakes. Snake does not want to open its mouth. There we go. So you make sure that the head's going in. If you can get it in without puncturing the rat, well, it's a lot nicer. But you do got to make sure that each time you push, it slides in a bit. I got enough of every melody, they all sound the same. Yeah. For my broken heart, no remedy, but maybe if you stay. Can get away with it Cause you make me love my imperfections Answer all my questions Just to show me What's on the other side of inhibition No apologies my baby I do you do cause I'm feeling so good Oh there we go Oh, this is yucky. Answer all my questions just to show me what's on the other side of innovation. No apologies, my baby. Do you do? Cause I'm feeling so good. Oh, it was just about down. So it's trying to push it out while I'm trying to push it down. There, unwrapped. Now I can start getting it down. So I'm gently, very gently pushing it down. I'm putting pressure at the top. I'm helping it move it down. And now it's past the neck and it's in there. So I'm going to give them both a little rinse and then put them away. So you see now with her, I had to push it down because if I didn't push it down, she would have spat it out. I gave her a rinse, now I'm going to put her away, and you see, she's okay.
as you see with this one it went down his throat as I kind of thought it would so I didn't have to push it down with him now you can see even after that whole ordeal they've been nice they haven't been trying to bite me or anything while I'm washing them or anything nobody tried to bite me and I just helped them get a meal down in nature most of the snakes would die in captivity I find usually in litters of 20 lots of the time most of them will eat but sometimes there'll be one or two that just won't um, it's something that's also different from the weaker animals and the stronger animals so as you saw with the solidified yolk syndrome that we dealt with before having to feed all these snakes I'll put a link up to that but dealing with that was something totally different it's not that the snakes wouldn't eat it's that the snakes were weak or they didn't absorb the yolk inside them and then they died then coming to the eating phase all of them ate except for these two and uh, if I just let them not eat anything they probably could die or they end up starving so much that it's not really good for them either so um, by force feeding them like that it kind of gives them and me a couple weeks to get everything going right ideally they'd be eating every week but if I do it like this I will force them to eat a meal now every two weeks and still every day I'm gonna go and offer them food and first stick the food in then try and dangle it with heat then try putting them in smaller containers try putting them inside darker containers I'll try out a whole pile of different things until eventually they get eating or if it gets to the point where they're just not going to eat except for assisted eating um, I might just let them go um, and that's crappy but to me I've done the best that I could done everything I can to try and uh, get them to live and get them to survive but if an animal is not thriving if it's not going to make it and it doesn't really want to make it then I believe in letting nature do its thing you know, sometimes some animals just don't make it or they're not strong enough to survive and then it's sad but it's it's a reality and uh, not really much you can do about that but I'm still going to try every day to get them to eat I'm really hoping that they make it especially considering that this time specifically these snakes are ones that I want to keep for myself so um, me losing those snakes would be like you buying a snake from someone and then them telling you sorry it didn't make it like you're invested in that and for me I've invested more than money into them I've spent four years growing their mother and then getting them so they do mean a lot to me and I hope they make it yeah that was wonderful wasn't it now make sure you click circle yeah click the circle yeah I do and then watch this video or this one yeah? No. Yes. It's not that hard. Which one appeals to you more? Is it this one? Or is it this one?